in this part we are going to do two things first is on successful authentication i will store the user object in a cookie so that i can at any point of time refer to that user object quickly without making any rest call and also if someone is hitting the refresh button he can still be authenticated using the cookie data and the second thing which i am going to do is guard two of my routes which is the dashboard and the logout to make them accessible only to authenticated users i'll go to my app.js so as you can see this home url can be accessed by anyone but this and this url will be basically accessible only to authenticated users so let's start now setting up the cookie will mean i will use the dollar cookies i will inject it in my user model and then when i am getting the success response what i will do is store the user object inside the cookie as we have seen user model js 16 which is this is the user object and obviously i will need to save this so what i will do is i'll say dollar cookies dot put i'll keep the cookie name as auth and i will save the response okay with this done i should be able to get the cookie inside my user controller so let's quickly do one thing i can anyways i don't think we should fidget with the code right now because i will then have to inject dollar cookie inside the controller and write the console instead what i will do is i will directly go to my app.js file and inside this i will handle the event of route change because so far we have been able to store the cookie the next thing which i need to do is basically on any change of the route i will check whether the user is logged in or not so i have copy pasted the code and now i will go line by line so in my app run i have root scope location and i have the auth factory sorry this will be auth model right i will check for route change start and in that i will check whether the next route is authenticated or not and i am going to do that through the get auth status now this is something which i have not written so i'll quickly write that function i'm ending it here so user model dot get auth will be a function okay there's some problem with the indentation i don't understand why this is happening like this let me quickly check i have this bracket which should close here which is fine and this comes here which is again correct oh yes yeah so now that's correct and what i will do is i will say where status equals dollar cookies dot get auth okay so i am getting the user object from the cookie and i will say if status return true else return false as simple as that so basically it will check whether this cookie is set or not and if and return true or false accordingly 
okay with this method created we are good to run this script right now obviously I need to run gulp once again I think I had it under watch but still I'll just do gulp and then I'll keep it on watch fine go to the browser hit refresh user model is not defined which means inside models I have user models so there must be some typo let me quickly fix it up yes I forgot this is still auth factory and that's the reason it is giving me the error all right the error is gone I'm getting the login page which means it's also coming here so I'll first go through this part of the code where it says if it finds an attribute as authenticated which means what I will do is I'll create this extra key here and also here and then if it finds this attribute it will check whether the user model get auth status is returning true or not if it doesn't it will basically take the user back to the login screen and the second check is basically if the user is trying to go to the home screen and if he is already logged in then he should be redirected back to the same page where he was previously all right so with this in place now I don't have the cookie if I try to hit dashboard now let me first clear my cookies past hour okay I can do that and now refresh and dashboard all right I am redirected back to the home page because I'm not logged in right and if I come to this dashboard page now I can do logout which will take me to the logout page I can go to the dashboard page but I can't go back to the login screen because I have an additional check there as well so if you see if I'm on the logout page I try to go to the login screen I'm redirected back to the logout page so basically both our conditions are working correctly and now the final part will be for now we can quickly set up a small menu and give the logout button so now to have the logout functionality in place as well I will add a button it's a temporary fix later on I will do the proper navigation so let me quickly go to my dashboard HTML and I will add a button which says logout right it will have a class button button primary which is default bootstrap and I'll say ng click do logout okay so I need this function obviously in my user controller this is my do login logout function and basically what I will do is I will say let's call user model dot do user logout right and then from the controller I will redirect him back to the login screen obviously I don't have this function so I will quickly go to my model and is a model dot do logout will be a function where I'll need to clear the cookie which will be basically cookie dot remove and the key which is in our case auth because we are setting it here right so yep we have the function in place hit refresh I have the logout click and I'm back on the login screen if I now try to hit the dashboard link 
or even the logout link i'm not able to get to that and if it is a wrong username so these things are already working okay so things are in place last thing just to have a shortcut what i will do is i'll say right here stand dollar scope is login the username let's set it up so that i don't have to type it again and again and the password is pass right what will happen is uh, when i do log out yeah so the username password is ready i can just click login and if i need to kind of invalidate it yeah we have it in place thanks for watching guys